we shall reflect on the lives of the seven martyrs and Saint Felicity, their mother. The martyrdom of these illustrious saints took place in Rome under the Emperor Antonius. The seven brothers were the sons of Saint Felicity, a noble pious Christian widow in Rome, who after the death of her husband served God in a state of continence and devoted herself wholly to prayer and works of charity. By the public and edifying example of this saintly lady and her whole family, many idol worshippers were moved to embrace the new faith, pronouncing their false gods. This provoked the heathen priests and they complained to the emperor about the boldness with which Felicity publicly practiced the Christian religion, emphasizing that in order to appease the so-called immortal gods who were considered the guardians and protectors of the empire, it was necessary to compel this lady and her children to sacrifice to them. Publius, the prefect of Rome, had the mother and her sons apprehended and brought before him. Addressing the mother, he said, Take pity on your children, Felicity. They are in the bloom of youth and may aspire to the greatest honors and preferments. Holy Felicity answered, Your pity is really impiety, and the compassion to which you exhort me would make me the cruelest of mothers. Then turning to her children, she said to them, My sons, look towards heaven, where Christ with his saints awaits you. Be faithful in his love, and fight courageously for your souls. Publius, as aspirated at this behavior, commanded her to be cruelly buffeted. Then he called the children to him one after the other, and used many artful speeches, mingling promises with threats to induce them to adore the gods, but to no avail. The brothers were thus condemned to be scourged, and after which they were remanded to prison, and the prefect, despairing to overcome their resolution, laid the whole process before the emperor. Antonius the emperor decreed that they be sent to different judges and be condemned to different forms of death. Accordingly, one was cursed to death with whips loaded with plummets of lead. The next two, Felix and Philip, were clubbed to death. Silvanus the fourth was flung headlong to his death down a steep precipice. The three youngest, Alexander Vitalis and Martelius, were beheaded before the same sentence was awarded to the mother four months later.